वर्णिवेशरमणीयदर्शन मंदहासुचिराननाबुज पूजित सुरनरोतमुदा धर्मनंदन महम विचित धर्मनंदन महम विचित श्री घनश्याम महाराज जय after a long break and just after winter workshop 2015 let me restart our daily sunday katha we are discussing 141 chapter of bhakta chintamani in the chapter we have discussed how bhagwan swami narayan come at the time of his devotee's death and how he protect his dude his dude is now today in the same chapter there were also the other incident and first of them there was a devotee whose name was prabhudas this devotee prabhudas he was very staunch devotee and follower of bhagwan swami narayan and that's why he follow each and every command of bhagwan swami narayan he also always keep a company of bhagwan swami narayan's ekantik sant so that he cannot even by mistake uh he cannot even by mistake forget to follow any commands of bhagwan swami narayan now one uh, he uh, the another thing written in the bhakta chintamani that was his village his village was moraj but once upon a time just as we know that after one day or after one year or after many years one have to stop to live on this earth right in the same way this whether the person is devotee of bhagwan or not whether he believes in god or not but he had to go one day in this way this prabhudas he was living on this earth and from the la- till the last day he worshiped bhagwan swami narayan but as according to the law of nature he has to go now the main difference between the non duty and the duties of bhagwan swami narayan that is at the time of non believers death he encounter pain and misery because of yamdut and at the time of death of bhagwan swami narayan's duty he not only he could not get a uh, pain or any kind of misery but he even get more and more happiness he even get an eternal happiness in the divine abode of bhagwan swami narayan in aksardham in the same way this prabhu das one day he fell ill and because of his uh his time is over he has no chance to live more on this earth and that's why bhagwan swami narayan himself come to him now bhagwan swami narayan this time come and he also took this prabhudas to his aksardham but the amazing thing is that there in the aksardham this prabhudas first he saw a divine light the light worth of thousands and millions of sun just imagine we have only one sun for earth and how we get a light meaning a daylight just imagine if two or four sun we have on earth 
then what happened now i'm not talking about his heat i'm only talking about his light yeah in the same way in aksardham this prabhu das entered in aksardham with bhagwan swaminarayan himself but there he found a uh, countless millions of sunlight we have only one sunlight now after entering this light this light is itself a uh, bhagwan aksardham's light meaning it itself a uh, divine abode of bhagwan that is aksardham which can also be known as chidakas there in this light countless millions of divine muktas and after getting darshan of these countless millions of muktas this prabhu das he divinely and with understanding their glory in his heart he bow down to all those muktas and after the muktas he come in the at the center of the aksardham and there we know at the center of aksardham there is nothing but bhagwan swaminarayan himself now there he found the murti of bhagwan swaminarayan and he also as he understood this is god himself and this is my bhagwan swaminarayan himself that's why he also bowed down to bhagwan swaminarayan in aksardham there he found something wrong prabhu das was very happy after entering in aksardham but as he bowed down to bhagwan swaminarayan at the middle of the aksardham there bhagwan swaminarayan himself instructed this prabhu das prabhu das this is not a proper time for you to stay here in aksardham it is my command for you to go back to your body and live on the earth just imagine you are suppose you are standing into white house right and you are and the condition of entering white house is that who who ever come or enter once in white house then he cannot go outside meaning he cannot be driven out from the white house white house remain as a permanent house for him but as you enter and after some days you are driven out from a uh, driven out by some guards from the white house and you are instructed that you will not enter again in the aksardham uh, in this white house then how pain you can feel right you because you have many many kind of desire and you have decided uh when i enter and why i am staying and living in white house i will enjoy this much i will enjoy uh, this movie and i will i will enjoy these games like uh in this way this prabhu das had also many many thoughts related to aksardham his thoughts is not like us we are only thinking about this worldly enjoyment a uh, small kids like jay bhagat he always thinking about a uh, delicious food and another like siv bhagat he always thinking about game this is not a uh, food or game but prabhu das was thinking about bhagwan's divine aksardham and the eternal bliss of aksardham now bhagwan swamina instructed him and commanded him to go back into his body that's why prabhu das had no any way other than abide by this instruction of bhagwan swamina and that's why he came back into his body 
now here all the relatives and the villagers all gather in his house as the news spread in the village that prabhudas was gone out now prabhudas came back and there he found all the relatives and people surrounding him in his house then all the villagers and his, his relatives they ask we believe you are passed away that's why we gather here and we are waiting for some other dude uh, other relatives otherwise we started your funeral ceremony then prabhu das explained what was happening in aksardan how he got bhagwan swami narayan's darshan and how he enjoy for some time the divine bliss of aksardam and how bhagwan himself instructed him to go back to his body all this what was happen prabhu das explained to the relatives and the villagers there are all the devotees meaning the villagers they were also devotees of bhagwan swami and they all surprised and they all suggest prabhu das you are very fortunate we are not because you got darshan of bhagwan himself and even you got entry in aksardam and you have witnessed the divine and eternal bliss of aksardam in this way bhagwan swami and himself shows many many miracle to his devotees the same incident happened in the life of our pujya ramesh mama before he died before he go back to aksardam before two or three months he got a dream and in a dream he got darshan of bhagwan swami narayan whenever a person or whenever a devotee got darshan of bhagwan swami narayan even in a dream that was not a dream it's a real darshan of bhagwan himself mama got darshan of bhagwan swami narayan in a dream and at the time he experienced that he also went to aksardam with bhagwan swami narayan there bhagwan shows him only a divine light not anything else bhagwan swami narayan took him on only up to the gate of aksardam but not under uh, not uh, enter into aksardam now after showing the divine light and all the bliss of aksardam maharaj came back and uh, came back and mama also came back uh, and maharaj instructed him this is not your right time because mama has one desire he has a uh, one special desire for establishment of ganesha maharaj in our mandir that's why he want to witness of this incident that how guruji himself doing pratishtha of ganesha maharaj and that is why mara say it's okay i will come after your desire will be fulfilled and as mama had no any desire remain in his mind because he already detached from his family and relatives even he cried when he had to go outside from this mandir for only a week even for his uh, even for a marriage of his own son this shows that it, uh, he has no kind of attachment with his family or relatives and that's why after his god related thought or desire completed bhagwan himself come to him and took him into his aksardam so this kind when whenever we think or whenever we listen such kind of incident of bhagwan swami narayan at the time we should also think for us that bhagwan swami narayan is forever present on this earth it is wrong to say that bhagwan swami narayan was happen or he was on this earth at the uh, at uh, before 200 years that is wrong even bhagwan himself today also on this earth present 
but we can't see him even though he is before our eyes still we can't see him now another incident written in the same chapter and that was the the incident is related to two female devotees there was also one village in charoda region that is gana and in that village there was a female devotee by the name of avalbai she was not initially devotee of bhagwan swami narayan but many times she had listened about bhagwan swami narayan and about uh, the custom and tradition and rules and regulations of our satsang so after listening f- the glory and greatness of our satsang and about bhagwan swami narayan she had some doubt as she never had a darshan of bhagwan swami narayan and she never met bhagwan swami narayan so he had many many doubts remaining in his mind now uh this female devotee as she had not a staunch uh belief in bhagwan swami narayan still once she decided to go for a darshan of bhagwan swami narayan there once she got a darshan of bhagwan swami narayan from some distance still bhagwan had made a miracle because bhagwan can do whatever he wishes and bhagwan make a miracle in such a way that when whatever this aval by see everywhere see got a darshan of bhagwan swami narayan even she felt that she experienced that whenever she go bhagwan swami narayan's murti he had only once dars he had got only one time darshan still bhagwan swami narayan's murti remain in front of his eyes whatever she listen she felt bhagwan himself listen through me whenever she speak anything uh, at the time she felt that bhagwan swami narayan was also there in this way even he uh, even each and every action she got darshan of bhagwan she was very fortunate but the main problem is that whenever we have any kind of benefit or we have any thing special than others then our nature is such that we publish it to others because of soap in the same way this will by also explain to other about bhagwan swami narayan's miracle and that's why as she started to explain and talking about this bhagwan swami narayan's murti she got everywhere now after gradually after this time gradually bhagwan swami narayan stopped this miracle because as she explain to others the others even though they are the devotee of bhagwan swami narayan still they uh, understood the glory of this aval by not of bhagwan swami narayan and that's why bhagwan stopped this miracle now the other incident the last incident of this chapter sadguru niskuran swami had written that incident is also the same but something different there is another female devotee her name was also avalbai but the village was different this avalbai was of pg this avalbai she didn't had married with any other person but she decided i had to remain unmarried and only to do worship and doing do bhajan of bhagwan swami narayan now as she always worship bhagwan swami narayan and doing bhajan of bhagwan swami narayan 
and as she had no anything else to do so she meditated upon divine form of bhagwan swami narayan and the power of meditation is such that whoever meditate upon the form of bhagwan he or she can get some divine experience in the same way these all by had divine experience in their experience she got a divine status and in that st- divine status she bel- she believe automatically that bhagwan can uh, bhagwan swami and himself speak through her listen to her even walking through her in each and every activity she felt that bhagwan is doing not she and in this way even when he would see was in a, in an assembly at the time also she speak or even she explain to others that i am not all by i am bhagwan swami and himself i am sahajan and swami and just as what is the power in the form of bhagwan because of meditation and worshiping to bhagwan swami narayan she also got the same power and that's why just as bhagwan is omniscient this all by became on omniscient and that's why because of omniscient power she also knew about what is uh, what was in the others mind and what was in the others heart the thought related to world or thought related to god everything and as she started to explain or disclose the others heart towards the towards uh, the other people and in this way after some time one day she got her sense back as because of her glory all the other devotees just as bhagwan swami is sitting on a special seat and all the devotees seated before him in an assembly in the same way the devotees believing this this was not all by and bhagwan himself come to us and in this way all the devotees also make a preparation for all by that uh, all by on a high stage and all the other devotees they sat in front of her and as all by got sense back at the time as she saw the other devotees in front of her and at bottom there she got surprised how is it possible i am also devotee of bhagwan swami narayan then why these all the devotees they sat in front of me in this way as she got her sense back and then she him herself spoke to the others that i am all by i am not a uh, sahajan and swami i am a devotee of her uh, i am devotee of bhagwan swami and that's why why are you sitting in front of me in this way she explained to the others that this is not power of me but this is the power of bhagwan swami narayan and in this way bhagwan himself shows many kinds of different different kinds of miracle to the devotees and non devotees those who are non devotees they become a devotee and those who are a devotee they after experiencing such kind of incident they be, uh, they become staunch devotee of bhagwan swami narayan this is the only uh, reason behind the uh, showing miracles to others and the other aim or the other reason for showing this such kind of miracle is that i think for us as we listen and as we thought again and again for this such kind of incident at the time we can at least understand the glory and greatness of bhagwan swami narayan and our divine satsang and we also experience the divinity in this satsang and we also can get some strength to walk on the path of liberation 
in this way sadguru niskulanan swami concluded this 141 chapter of bhakta chintamani श्री घनश्याम महाराज नी जय श्री पतिम श्रीधरम सर्वेश्वर भक्तिधरमात्मज वासुदेव हर माधव केशव कामद कारण स्वामीनायण नीलकंठम भजे श्री घनश्याम महाराज नी जय Thank you. 